Day in Persia was the most celebrated day of the year. Wonderful shows were prepared to entertain the king and the prince. At the end of the program, a lone figure stood before the king with a beautiful horse. Your majesty, I beg thee, look upon this wondrous animal. It is not real, but an ingenious machine that will carry me anywhere I wish, just by turning a peg. Well, if true, it is indeed a wonderful animal. What is the price? It is not for sale, sire, but I would exchange it for a portion of your kingdom. Well, for such a trade, I must know more about this horse. My son, Prince Prama, will test the animal for me. The owner started to show the prince how to control the horse. But before he could tell him all, Prince Prama turned the peg and away he flew. He doesn't know how to bring it back. It's a trick to kidnap the prince. Throw this man in jail until my son returns. As the horse's owner was taken away, the king scanned the skies for the flying prince, but he was out of sight. High above the clouds flew the enchanted horse with the frightened prince. He traveled hundreds of miles, but he couldn't control the animal. He twisted the peg, but the horse continued to fly upward and onward. At last he found a small knob behind the animal's ear. He gave it a turn and the enchanted horse started to descend. As he came closer to earth, the prince saw he was in a strange kingdom. I will be in danger if I'm found, but I can't control the horse. The amazing animal carried Prince Prama toward a palace courtyard. After I land, I'll turn the peg, and maybe it will fly away again, perhaps right back to my own country. So intent was the prince on the controls that he didn't watch the archway through which the horse flew. He was knocked off the horse into a courtyard. No one saw him, and while everyone crowded about the mysterious horse, Prince Prama hid in a room. After studying the horse, the king gave out an order. This is a most unusual animal. I shall give it as a gift to Princess Serena. Yeah, perhaps then she'll be my bride. Take the animal to the stable until I'm ready to give it to her. Prince Prama could hear the king's orders, and now he realized his chance of escaping was gone. Then he heard someone sobbing. He discovered that he was in the room of Princess Serena. She was the most beautiful girl he had ever seen. She looked up and saw the prince staring at her. Who are you? I'm Prince Prama. I come from far away. Don't let them know I'm here. Oh, did my father send you to rescue me from King Agnir? No, but perhaps I can help. Tell me how you came to this place. Princess Serena then told Prince Prama the story of how she was captured by the powerful King Agmir. She must marry him or be put to death. I have an idea. If you pretend to be ill, the king will have to postpone any decision until you're well. I'll hide out in the city and return when the time is right. The princess agreed, and she acted as if she were in a trance. And soon the whole palace was alarmed. Word got to the king about her illness. Send for the best doctors in the kingdom. Each doctor who came tried to cure the young girl, and each failed. King Agmir sent out a call to physicians from other lands. One day, a strange doctor came to the palace. I can cure the princess, but I must attend her alone. When the doctor was alone in the sick girl's room, he spoke to her. Princess Serena, arise, for it is time for us to leave. Prince Prama. It is you? Yes, Serena. But we must play the game for a while yet. Now we will see the king. Sire, you see she is almost cured already. Now some special unusual gift from you may complete the treatment. How fortunate. I have been saving a most unique horse to give to the princess. So the enchanted horse was brought to the palace. It's beautiful. May I sit in the saddle? Of course, my dear. It's yours. Prince Prama helped Princess Serena up on the horse. Then he turned to the king. You see, sire, she is cured. Now for my fee. Of course, good doctor. What is your wish? 
I wish the princess myself. He jumped behind Serena. Never. She is mine. Guards, seize him. But the guards gaped in wonder as the horse rose from the floor and soared away. Out over the fields and mountains, the prince and princess flew. After many hours, Prince Prama looked below and saw the palace of his father. The enchanted horse had brought them home. The king was delighted to see his lost son and welcomed the princess. Prince Prama told his father that Serena had consented to be his bride. The happy king released the owner of the horse and granted him a part of the kingdom in exchange for the animal. Later, when Prince Prama and Princess Serena were married, the king gave them the mechanical animal as a wedding gift. The young people rode away to have many more wonderful adventures with the enchanted horse. <laughs>